Hi, in this episode of my GIMP 2.8 beginner's guide, I'm going to start discussing the rectangle select tool. This is the first tool in our toolbox, the keyboard shortcut is R. I'm going to be discussing a lot of options and keyboard shortcuts. First, let's start with basic selecting. The way you select with this tool is you click, hold down the left mouse button and drag like this, then release. And this selection is not applied at the moment. We can still modify it in various ways. If we mouse over towards the center here, you will get the move icon. You can click, hold down the mouse button again, and you can move the selection. Now you see these rectangles and squares at the corners and sides of the selection. If you pick one at the side, one of these squares, you can see that you can modify the selection in any direction that you want. If you pick one of these uh, at the side, you will be able to modify it only up and down or left or right. Now if you click here with the left mouse button and hold it, then hold down the control key, you will be able to expand the selection from center. If you hold down the shift key, you will be able to expand the selection keeping the aspect ratio. If you hold down the two keys, the shift and control key, you will be able to expand from center and also keep the aspect ratio. If you want to start a new selection and get rid of this one, we can do it in two ways. One is to click somewhere outside of the selection. The other way is to hit the escape key. Now let's make another selection. If we are ready with our selection and we want to apply it, again there is two ways to do this. One is to go towards the center of the selection and click and this will apply the selection. The other way is to, let's make another one. We can also apply it by pressing the enter key. Even though the selection is applied, we can still move it. Holding down the alt key then click and hold down the left mouse button and we can move the selection. Note that if we start another selection, this one will disappear. This happens because we are in the replace the current selection mode. This is activated by default, so every time I make a new selection, I'm going to replace the old one. If I want to add to the current selection, I'm going to select this mode, add to the current selection, there's also a keyboard shortcut, shift key. So now when I make a new selection, I'm not going to be losing the old one, I'll be adding to it. You see how this works. The next mode is the subtract from the current selection, keyboard shortcut is control key. So let's try this. And the last mode is intersect with the current selection. If I activate this, make a selection. Notice that everything that doesn't intersect with this new selection will be left out and disappear. And something you should know about the keyboard shortcuts for these modes is that, for example, right now I'm on the intersect mode. And if I hold down the shift key, I'm going to switch to the add to selection mode. But if I release the key, I'm going to go back to the previous mode. So if I have this one selected with the mouse, the replace the current selection mode, and I hold down the shift key, I will go to the add to current selection mode, but if I release, I'll go back to the replace the current selection mode. So the keyboard shortcuts can be a little tricky here. One more thing I forgot to show you, with the replace the current selection mode activated, I'm going to click and drag like this to create this rectangle, then click to apply the selection, even though we have the selection applied, we can still go back one step by clicking here in the center and this will activate it. Now we can modify it again and then reapply it once we are ready. So I'm going to continue with more options in the next episode. I hope this one was useful. If it was, like the video, leave me a comment. If you are new to my tutorials, visit my channel for more and subscribe for upcoming videos. That's it for now. Bye.